now we're really in the Blair Witch Project. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this episode of Vivian Tries, we have a pretty cool as seen on television product. It's kind of weird, kind of unique, and very different. Hydra Light. You guys, it runs on water. No batteries, no charging, no nothing. Here are some of the features that they have listed on their website. It runs on any type of water, meaning rainwater, river, pond, ocean water, regular drinking water, any type of water will fuel this flashlight slash lantern. It can run for days on one water dip. And then the last one that I want you to notice the little asterisk behind it. It says it has a 25 year shelf life, not warranty. I mean, it might be a warranty, but it's shelf life. It says it right there. Don't be fooled. Read the fine print people. Cause if you open this, this is it, this is it. The days start counting down. It's saying if you leave it exactly like this on a shelf somewhere in a climate controlled place, it should last you 25 years. You can see here, I have my bowl of water. It's clean, filterized water, even though on their website, you just heard me read, any type of water will work. Got it. Whoa, there it is. The secret is right there. See, now I opened it. I no longer have the 25 year shelf life. In the infomercial, it says you only have to dip this in water for 10 to 12 seconds. It feels really nice. It feels like a rubber tire. To get the cell out, you're just gonna twist the bottom and then boom. In the infomercial, they dip this thing in water and they use this little gadget to show you that this is actually activated in the water. So we're gonna try that too. Look at me with my science experiments. It's like shrink wrapped or something. <laughs> I guess to keep it nice and dry. So moisture doesn't, I don't know. Moisture maybe, just guessing. You guys know how I do this. Doesn't it remind you of a battery? So when you put it back into your light, you have to put it in just like this. See the little arrow? It says insert. I'm gonna put it in like that. Let's turn on this little machine. Look at me, all professional. Yeah, take these little things off. No, use at your own risk. This is dangerous. Don't do this at home, kids. So we're gonna stick these in the water first before I even touch it with anything to see if the little meter is going to detect anything. We will insert the fuel cell, then check the water while it's in there to see if it reads anything. It should, because that's what the infomercial did. Girl, look at you, professional and everything. Okay, I hope y'all can read my meter. Is anything happening? Is that meter moving? No, it isn't. Now, let's turn it off. Don't let these touch. I don't know how to use this. Don't use this. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, like me, I just watched a YouTube video last night. Now I'm certified. I'm an electrician, so if you need my services, leave me a comment down below. I wanna make sure it's submerged in there very well before I check the water. I think the secret inside is salt. You guys ready? Let's dip it. Dip it real good. One, two, three, go. Oh, we gotta count too. 10 seconds. Oh, it's not submerged. Oh shit. I gotta put some more water in. I have a little bit more water right here. More water. Get in there real good. I should have just put it in the cup, huh? 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, ten. We've officially counted. You guys ready? One, two, three, go. Is it moving? Nothing's happening. Infomercial. You told me. I wonder if it has to be in a really small place. I'm gonna put the water back in my cup. Maybe the bowl's too wide. I don't know. Shit, I'm just guessing. <gasps> Look at me go. Okay, now let's put it over here. <gasps> Great, I overfilled it. What the hell? Look at me, I look like an amateur. Okay, now my shit, no. It's already been in my bowl for more than 10 seconds, so that should have already given it a charge. And in the infomercial, that fool sticks his hand out of a tent, he waves it around in the rain, and boom, he's got light. Do you think that when it's time to bug out for us preppers, when I'm in my tent, 
and it's raining and I need light. I don't have any more electricity because I'm literally off the grid. Then I'm going to be able to stick my hand out, wave this little fuel cell around, and I'm going to have light for days. I don't know about all that. If you're an electrician, don't tell me all the shit I'm doing wrong. I know. I don't know if you guys get my sarcasm. I'm not really an electrician. Don't do this shit at home. Get yourself electrocuted and shit. I mean, not electrocuted, but shocked. I think this thing will shock you if you I don't know what the fuck. I don't want to find out. That's all I'm saying. Ready? One, two, three, go. Anything. Oh, it did do it. Oh, you guys, look. Do you see it? It did move. Look. One more time for all you slow folks. Pay attention right here. Did it go? Oh, yeah. Boom. I don't know why it didn't work on the bowl. I really don't care. It worked here. That's pretty cool. Once you shake all the water out of it, then you can insert it into the hydrolyte. See the arrow there? So you're gonna put that in first, like that. My finger must have a current. If I shock myself for doing that, it's my own damn fault. Here it is. There it is. Light. Not very bright though. There is a itty bitty LED light in there? I don't know how bright that's gonna be. Like if it's gonna light up a large, large area. Probably not. It's probably just for like a little campsite. I'm not really sure. I'm just guessing. You see it? It's little. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. To turn on your lantern? Wait, I think you first have to have it on, right? I would imagine. <laughs> Voila. I wonder if we turn it off if we pull that. No. Okay. You have to have the power button on common sense. One more time for the effect. Pull it like that and voila, you have a lantern. Oh, I feel like the girl from the Olympics. You know, that person that carries the torch? That's what it reminds me of, right? So I guess it's still a flashlight and a lantern all at the same time. You see, when you have it in your tent or you have it on your picnic table, you not only have your lantern, but you're also making contact with some aliens because boom, there's a light gonna be beaming into the sky. Okay, let's close it. <laughs> oh, let's go back to the website because there were a couple of more things that I wanna run by you. It claims that you can use it for up to 300 hours. That does not mean that I've dipped it and now it's gonna run for 300 hours. No, no. The 300 hours that they're talking about is before you need to replace the cell inside. So my next question is, so can I buy a replacement? I don't think so. I don't wanna to have to buy this whole damn thing. And that's what I'm figuring because there's nowhere to order just the fuel cell. So once this thing is dead and you've used it for those 300 hours that they claim, you gotta throw this whole thing away. I could be wrong, but I could not find it on Amazon and I could not find it on their website. If you know for sure that you can buy it separately, leave that information in the comments down below just in case somebody wants to just buy the damn fuel cell, not the whole thing again. I don't wanna pay another $29.99 because my flashlight should still be good. It's durable just like you told me. I don't wanna have to get a new flashlight every 300 hours. You don't touch it on day-to-day -day stuff. You know, it's raining, electricity went out, bust this thing out. No, you don't wanna run through your 300 hours. It's only for emergency, so don't touch it. If you can't buy the fuel cell. Now, if you can buy additional fuel cells for $9.99 or whatever the hell price, they're, pro they're probably gonna sell you the whole thing. Only use it on bug out day or use it when you're officially going off the grid, like me. I hope this time I'm wrong because this is a really nicely made flashlight lantern. I am not throwing this away just because that fuel cell is out. I'm gonna make my own fuel cell. I don't know how, but somebody knows how on YouTube. So you better sell those fuel cells or I'm gonna make my own. Here's the strangest damn question that I saw on this list. Get ready, sit down. Will the light work with human urine? In an emergency when tap water, lake water, stream water, or ocean water are not available. They must get that question a lot because it's part of their frequently asked questions. So it must be a frequently asked question. But don't even think about leaving me that comment. I'm not about to pee on that. I'm just reading you what the official website says. The answer is yes, 
just make sure to wet the entire fuel cell. So you gotta go like this. Right, you gotta, or dip it in a, pee in a cup, you know, if you don't wanna miss, pee in a cup. Don't pee on it like you're taking a pregnancy test. I mean, you could, that's convenient, but I think a cup, that way it's submerged in there. Just my professional opinions, you do what you want. I don't wanna hear about it. Don't leave me a comment about me testing that. I'm gonna turn off the lights. I'm gonna go Netflix and chill, and I'll check back in a few hours. Let you guys know, this damn thing ran for 100 hours. I'm not gonna test it for 100 hours. That's a long ass time, but I'll test it for, for a few hours to see how, if it's still bright and if it's still on. It's not very bright. I'm not impressed with the actual light itself. For like a small campsite, maybe, yes, but it's not gonna light up much, I don't think. Okay, so there's your lantern, which is doing a little bit more. You still can't see my face. Here we go, kind of. It's not very bright, huh? I decided today was the day we were gonna try this out. Test my bug out plan. Nobody else wants to bug out with me. So we're in this little baby tent for one person. Probably Jedi will fit in here with me as well. But once the sun goes down or I turn off the lights in my kitchen, then it'll be pitch dark. Then we'll turn on our lantern, see how bright it is in the darkness of the wilderness. We're gonna get some real life scenarios today. Get your bug out plans ready, folks. I'll let you know if I recommend this for the list of items you need to buy. We're gonna wait for sunset and then we're ready to execute the plan. Shh, I'm telling you, I'm getting off the grid. I'm gonna survive with this and that's all I have in my tent, that's all it fits. But I have a plan. My backpack is full of my light collection, you guys know. This is like the Blair Witch Project, right? Aren't they in a tent like this? They hear shit outside. They're like, ah! <laughs> Too much Vivian, y'all fail. Sorry about it, guys. You know, I hate when y'all got, y'all fall. Okay, better. Babe? Babe? Yeah? Can you turn off the light in the kitchen real quick? Huh? Can you turn off the sunset? What sunset? The lights. This? Yeah. No, turn it off. That's the, you turned on the sun. <gasps> turn off all the lights. It has to be pitch dark because we're bugging out tonight in my living room, of course. <gasps> oh, yeah. All right, guys. This is it. We're off the grid. Do you hear the crickets? Or my husband going up the stairs. Either way, it's scary out here in the wilderness of my living room. Oh, yeah. Now we're really in the Blair Witch Project. It's crazy. Ah, what is that? What is that? You guys. <laughs> Isn't that a scene from the Blair Witch? So you might be impressed with the amount of light coming out of this flashlight. Once again, like I mentioned, in my office, I'm not too impressed with the brightness. In here, it is a tiny little one person baby tent. It's actually a kid's tent. So yeah, it looks like super bright. In my office, it oh, wasn't that impressive. In here, this is like a, a three by five tent. It's itty bitty, you know, just myself. My husband's like, you're crazy. Go bug out by yourself. I ain't going with you. Let's turn on the lantern now. Ready? You just have to pull it up like this. Ready? One, two, three, go. It says you can also hang it. It has a little hook right here somewhere. You see the hook? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? So that little hook allows you to hang this from your tent. Can you turn the sun back on? It's sunrise. We made it through the night, folks. We're alive. I'm bug out plan worked. So here's what I think of the hydrolite. It's a cool idea. It works just as designed. I dipped it in water. We checked the water. The water 
had some activity in my little meter. I left it in my office for four hours on. And look, I haven't had to dip it in water since. It's great for an absolute emergency. I don't think it would be a flashlight that you use like a normal flashlight. I think this is like part of your bug out plan. That's it. It's made very well. So well that I'm disappointed that you have to rebuy this entire thing once the fuel cell runs out. The 300 hours that they're claiming on the packaging. I'm not 100% sure on that, so do your own research. But that's what I understood from everything that I read. Let's talk about some negatives. I'm not impressed with its brightness. I think it'll light up a small area, but I don't think it's gonna light up too much space. I'm disappointed that I might have to completely throw this thing away once that fuel cell has run its course. I wish I could just buy the fuel cell. If I can buy the fuel cell, I think I would be okay with paying maybe $9.99. Anything over that, I think it's a bit much. The flashlight itself is so nice. This thing is gonna last you forever. So I'm gonna give the Hydrolite three Vivian heads. If you've used this thing and you love it, or you know a little bit more information than what I was able to gather, please leave us a comment down below. I think this is a really cool idea. I just, that's all I found. I was so excited because I thought this is a great piece to add to our bug out plan. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries from my little baby tent. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me. In the comments down below, let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I am putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.